Oh, good day everyone, and welcome to another video. And you can see by the clouds behind me, we've got some interesting weather going through. Anyway, I'm uh, up here trying to get panorama photos up here amongst the sheep. <laughs> getting panoramas hopefully of uh, the colors in the clouds and the sky as uh, sunsets about for oh, 20 minutes or so away maybe a little bit more but um, I'm up here trying panoramas for a reason and that is I've got some more new gear so what the heck have I got this time well I'll show you now this is what's known as a nodal rail and the whole idea is that you get where the light comes into the camera somewhere around here get it over the middle of the camera or of the tripod of the camera of the tripod and the whole idea is that you remove the parallax error and Basically, instead of swinging the camera from the, the um, shot from here when it's over the middle, you actually rotate it from the nodal point. And in theory, you stop those panoramas where you, know, you take a photo of something and you, it's, it's straight, but you end up with a circle or a half moon or something like that. Well, that's because of the parallax, as far as I'm aware. And uh, uh, Ewan's, Ewan Dunsmuir strikes again. <laughs> I just love the way he does his panoramas, and uh, so I've decided that I'm going to attempt some too. Now, I am in the back of my ute again, and you can just see the colour coming through the sky here so what are we going to do we're going to get a panorama and i can i've got the big lens on i'm just over 100 mil as you can probably see and that is my composition so i'm going from the the big cloud here to the other side now i have done some where it's two layers so you do a row of shots there then come down do another row along there and if you're really game you do another row along there but this will just be uh, probably a single and look at the clouds starting to light up in there so I'm on f8 I'm trying f8 just to see how good that is and I'm focusing way down there on the coast these trees here just to get to infinity and I've got them as sharp as I think they will go so now the problem with the long lens is vibration so I've got a two second timer going on each shot so one shot overlap by about 50% let the camera settle. Two shots and try not to, try not to move in the back of the ute, which is a little bit interesting. Three. Sheep have all shut up, which is good. Four. Five and one for good measure. Six. So here's the sh here's the uh, the shots. And in theory, we should get a good panorama. So what I'm hoping is that that cloud there is going to come over here just in time for sunset. Because that's an absolute cracker of a, of a cloud. It's probably a good shot from the middle of the road looking down that way too. 
but we'll just uh, we'll just stick with what we've got. You can see down here. I think that's Parry's uh, Parry's Inlet down there, and down there is Lights Beach. That's where I often go for photos. Actually, Lights is probably over here. Look at the colour. It's just stunning. So we will see whether the uh, parallax comes in or not. It'll be very interesting to see. I could do some long exposure here too, but the cloud might be just a tad blurry. Maybe two second ones. Might be enough to still get detail and uh, no blur. So, I'm not going to talk too much about the, power of the uh, parallax because I'm still learning about it. But if you want to, um, if you want to learn a little bit more about it, then uh, you can. I'll put a link to Ewan's um, video on panoramas, and uh, possibly another one that'll show you what I'm talking about as well. Let's see. It's just a stunning view. And there's a cool breeze blowing and I've got to tell you, the top of my head is getting a bit cool. And I, of course, I forgot to bring my uh, beanie with me. So, uh, yeah, things we do for photography. So why do a panorama with a long lens? So some of you may be asking, well, one, so you can get a bit closer. And two, the problem with wide angle lenses if you do them in uh, landscape mode across that way it makes things in the distance shrink and therefore don't look as good unless you're right up close to something and if you use a long lens of course well you can put it in vertical mode or uh, portrait mode as it's often called with a long lens and that's good because you can get some of the foreground as well as some of the sky and do exactly the same but the long lens just gives you that much better reach and I think it's a lot clearer and looks a darn sight nicer you don't end up with really really long panoramas that way and really narrow skinny things in height so that's the theory anyway and that light is just starting to kick off now. I was wrong about sunset. It's uh, it's closer to uh, six o'clock. It's now about uh, quarter to two. Another ten or fifteen minutes, and we'll see what happens. You can just see the sun going down up here, and uh, look at the colour starting to come into the bottom of those clouds. So hopefully. There'll be some out that way as well. Fingers crossed. Well, the sun's almost down there, but I've just got some shots of these clouds here. And I've also done a panorama around there. So we'll see what that comes up like. And I don't know if it's going to light up or not. Probably picked the wrong spot here with this telegraph pole. <laughs> right there to get a panorama around that way but man look at that sky that is awesome it'll be interesting to see if this lights up so i've just done a double one taking in you know an area about that size all the way around and with that color going off like that that's going to have to probably do another one Ooh, camera shuts down because it gets tired. How can it get tired of looking at that? Look at those colours. Wow. Okay, everybody. Well, I think the sun has gone behind some clouds down there. We're just getting some ambient light now, reflected light. Look at that. So I'm probably going to call it and... Uh, finish 
finish this video. Yeah, so as I was saying, before I got interrupted, um, we'll just finish this video here and leave you with uh, that little view there, which I've just taken a pano of because of the beautiful pink colours in that sky. Sun's still pretty bright in the sky over there. Pretty interesting. But I think that'll do. So if you've enjoyed this little video and the scenery overlooking Scottsdale and well William Bay that is I think out uh, out that way in Western Australia and you've enjoyed seeing my new piece of kit my nodal rail and you've enjoyed the content of the video then uh, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you do give me a thumbs up and you haven't already hit that subscribe button and if you do hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that little bell and it'll tell you when we do the next video which will be from wherever whenever I'm not quite sure when probably not going to be every week from now on probably just be fortnightly or opportunist when the opportunity arises so thanks for watching as always and we'll see you in the next one sometime bye for now